Well, it's another great week of action. Let's get ready to go around the SWAC. It's week eight. In Fayetteville, Arkansas, as it is the UAPB Golden Lions, 1-5 thus far in the season, 0-4 in conference play. They'll be taking on SEC foe, the Arkansas Razorbacks. When we take a look at the Golden Lions, it's been a really tough season thus far. They are trying to bounce back from a resounding defeat last week to the Southern Jaguars as they lost 34-7, where the defense gave up. 304 yards on the ground. Quarterback Xavier Bond and Skylar Perry, along with Jalen Thigpen on the defensive side of the ball, will lead the Golden Lions up against the SEC's Arkansas Razorbacks, who themselves are on a current three-game losing streak as they've lost uh, games to Georgia, Ole Miss, and Auburn. This will be an 11 p.m., 11 a.m. kickoff, I should say, from Fayetteville, Arkansas, and that game can be seen on the SEC Network. Let's go down to Itabina, Mississippi, where the Florida AM Rattlers, 4-2 thus far in the season, 2-1 and one in conference play, take on the Delta Devils, who are 2-4 and four overall, 1-2 and two in conference play. Tell you what, breakout game from the Rattlers last week is it was Rashad McKay. He threw for 251 yards, and Bishop Bonnet, he rushed for 187 yards as the Rattlers staged a furious four-quarter rally, scoring 19 points in the fourth quarter to knock off the Alabama A&M Bulldogs in Huntsville last week. Isaiah Land, he leads the nation in sacks, 10 sacks thus far. And Marquise Bell, they lead the Rattler defense, who are number five in the nation. Let's take a look at the Delta Devils. The Delta Devils, they're trying to bounce back from a tough loss last week to Alcorn uh, Valley's Caleb Johnson. He is the number four rusher in the swag. He had a huge game last week. He had 22 Carries 123 yards, and defensively, the Delta Devils, they had four guys with double-digit tackles. It will be FAMU and Mississippi Valley State. That is a 3 p.m. kickoff from Rice Titan Stadium, and that game can be seen on Mississippi Valley's YouTube channel. Let's head over to Baton Rouge, Louisiana. It is a homecoming kickoff as the Prairie View Panthers, 5-1 and one on the season, 4-0 and oh in conference play. They head to Baton Rouge to take on the Southern Jaguars, 3-3 three and three overall, 2-1 and one in conference play. Prairie View Panthers are one of the hottest teams in the swag. Last week, they got it done on the road at Bethune-Cookman uh, as they knocked off the Bethune-Cookman Wildcats, 35-29. Jawan Pass, he got it done passing 290 yards, connected with eight different receivers. But the story of the season thus far has been Prairie View's defense, led by Treshad Smith. Drake Cheatham and Jason Dumas, they are the number 10 team in the nation in total defense, surrendering only 277 yards per game. Southern, they had a huge bounce back victory last week over UAPB, and it was Kobe Dillon getting it done on the ground, garnering SWAC Offensive Player of the Week honors as he had huge 267 yards on the ground last week against UAPB. Southern's bruising run game is number six in the nation in total rushing. 236 yards per game, Southern getting it done on the ground. That will be a 6 p.m. homecoming kick from A.W. Mumford Stadium in Baton Rouge, Louisiana, and that game can be seen on ESPN+. Plus. Let's head over to Houston. The Alcorn State Braves, 4-2 and two on the season, 3-0 and oh in swag play. They take on the Texas Southern Tigers, who are 2-4 and four on the season, 1-2 and two in swag play. Alcorn, again, coming off of that huge win over Mississippi Valley State as they knocked off the Delta Devils 24-12 last week, and they were led by Nico Duffy. Strong game on the ground, 138 yards. The Braves defense, they snuffed out Valley's offense. Only 212 yards of total offense for the Delta Devils. Braves getting it done on the defensive side of the ball, holding them to only 3 of 14 on third down conversions. When we take a look at Texas Southern, they're trying to bounce back from a loss last week to the Grambling State Tigers as it was Andrew Body getting it done for the Texas Southern Tigers. He led them uh, offensively with 227 yards of total offense, 172 through the air, and 55 on the ground. That'll be a 7 p.m. kickoff from BBVA Stadium in Houston, Texas, and that game can be seen on AT&T Sports. That, and, of course, we finish off with our Jackson State Tigers as the Bethune-Cookman Wildcats 0-7 on the season, 0-4 in conference play, taking on our Jackson State Tigers, who are 5-1 on the season, 
three and zero in conference play. And, you know, although Bethune Cookman they haven't gotten it done in the win column yet, they do bring playmakers into Jackson. We start with the running back Quayshawn Bird. He's one of the top running backs in the SWAC. He rushed for 176 yards last week on 24 carries against Purdue. They also have big 6'6 receiver Kamari Everett. He leads the SWAC in receiving yards. Thus far on the season, he has 657 yards and six touchdowns. Defensively, the Wildcats are led by Clarksdale, Mississippi native Ontario Johnson, who is second in the SWAC and with 60 Two total tackles thus far in the season. Right behind him is his linebacker mate, Takeven Thomas, who's third in the conference. He has 52 stops thus far on the season. Jackson State, of course, coming back from a huge homecoming win over Alabama State in front of 53,000 faithful. Uh, you take a look at it last week. They were paced by quarterback one, Shador Sanders. He is number four in the nation. He's completed 69% of his passes. We also take a look at wide receiver Keith Corbin, seven catches last week for 113 yards. Good for Sweat, newcomer of the week. And, of course, Jackson State getting it done on the ground as it was Santee Marshall with 96 yards of rushing. And what can you say about the dark side defense? They are getting it done. Of course, they are number two in the nation in total team defense. They are number one in the nation with 28 sacks. And you know the names by now. They are led by linebackers James Houston, Aubrey, Miller, and, of course, Bitcoin is Miller. He's pushing the pocket up the middle. This will be a 1 p.m. kickoff from Mississippi Veterans Memorial Stadium home game for the Jackson State Tigers. Hey, in closing, as always, we say go support your home team, either by fannies in the seats or watching them on the various streaming networks. And until next week, this has been Around the Sweat on the pregame show. Uh-huh.